Good to Great by Jim Collins. Now this book is all about why some companies go from being good to being great while other companies actually go from being good to being mediocre and at some point just ceasing to exist. Why does that happen? Now, the writer of this book, Jim Collins, is actually a professor at Stanford Business School and he did a lot of research on this topic. Him and his colleagues did a bunch of research to analyze all these different companies. They actually analyzed all the different companies that went from good to great and their competitors during the same era to figure out what is it what was the thing that made the difference? What exactly was it? They actually interviewed the CEOs, they interviewed the, the teams, they went and did all the research, they did the numbers, and this book is actually an output of all of that. What is it? Why is it that some companies make the leap? Why do some companies become great? So let's talk about it. Let's talk about some of the biggest ideas from this book. The first big idea I wanna to talk to you about is the Stockdale Paradox. This is something that Jim Collins learned from Admiral Jim Stockdale, who was a prisoner of war in the Vietnam Wars. He actually survived those prisons. And uh, Jim Collins, when he interviewed uh, Jim Stockdale about why certain prisoners survived while others didn't, he found a very interesting analogy. What he found was it's very similar to what happens with businesses. Now here's what happened. The prisoners of war who did not survive were either the ones who were blindly optimistic about getting out of there and actually surviving the prisons or who were very pessimistic. But the ones who survived, the majority of them were the ones who actually were optimistic, but at the same time, they were able to confront the brutal facts, the reality as it was today. That's why we call it a paradox. On the one hand is the reality of today, which is very hard, very harsh, very difficult, very tough. On the other hand, you're still able to dream big. You're still able to believe that you will survive, that you'll make it out of here. You still have the vision that you will make out of these prisons. While on the other hand, you realize it is tough, it is grueling, it is painful, it is really, really, really crushing. And that's the same way with business. We have to realize, we have to have that vision that no matter what, we will prevail, that we will do great things. But at the same time, we have to confront the brutal facts of today. We have to confront the reality of today, which might mean that we have to confront the fact that it is hard right now, that we might be in trouble right now, that uh, the numbers are not good right now, that this is a lot of work, that this is going to be really painful and that's okay. So we have to confront the fact that this is going to be hard. This could be 10 times harder than what we anticipated it to be. And that's quite okay because we still believe in the fact that we will make it, that we will do great things. So that's a paradox, a huge paradox here. The next big idea I want to talk to you about is the hedgehog concept. Now the hedgehog and the fox. We're going to compare these two animals. The fox is the exact opposite of the hedgehog. The fox sees the world in all the complexity. It looks for all the shiny objects. It scatters its energy all over the place. The hedgehog, on the other hand, it sees through all the complexity and it focuses its energy on a few things that truly matter, a few things that truly move the dial. So the hedgehog always comes out a winner and that's how great businesses are. They are like hedgehogs. They are trying to do a few things really well rather than trying to do a lot of different things. The fox, on the other hand, represents a failing business or a mediocre business at best because it's spreading its energy all over the place and it cannot focus on a few things that truly matter. So if you want to grow your business, if, no matter what stage of growth you're in, you've got to condense. You've got to focus on a few things that truly matter rather than doing a whole bunch of things. I've seen businesses of all sizes, whether they're million dollars, $5 million, $10 million, and they're struggling. And you can see the struggle because they are diffuse. They're all over the place. They're doing a lot of different things. In fact, I have seen people who are in the early stages of building a business and they're committing the same sin. They're trying to do so many different things that they end up losing the whole battle of business because they cannot, they cannot afford to spread their energy all over the place. I've actually come across people who are starting off a podcast and a YouTube channel and a blog and an Instagram channel and a Facebook live feed, all of them at the same time. And when I see that, I'm very worried about that person because I know they're not going to succeed at this venture. They're going to spread their energy all over the place. They're going to try all these different things and none of them are going to work. Instead, what we need to do, whether your business is in six figures or seven figures or eight figures, it doesn't matter. You've got to focus. You've got to do a few things that really move the dial. This book, actually, this book is not just for someone who's starting a business. In fact, this book is designed for Fortune 500 companies. Fortune 500 companies are committing the same problems that us entrepreneurs, early stage entrepreneurs, online entrepreneurs are committing the same problem. The lack of focus is killing businesses all across. And that was one thing 
Apple was able to do really well. Steve Jobs was a master of focus. He was always able to say no. And that's one thing we need to learn. We need to learn in our online businesses to be able to say no a whole lot more, to focus a whole lot more, rather than just spraying our energy all over the place in a diffuse manner like a fox. So be like a hedgehog, not like a fox. The next big idea is the idea of the three intersecting circles. Where should you focus all of your energy? We just talked about the hedgehog concept as in the key to success is to focus your energy. But where should you focus your energy? Well, it is at the intersection of these three circles. The first of those circles is what is it that you can be the best in the world at? The best in the world. You can be. Not what you want to be the best in the world at, but what you can be the best in the world at. Second thing is what you're truly passionate about. And the third is what is it that drives the economic engine so when you are at the intersection of these three things what you're passionate about what you can be the best in the world at and what really makes money the intersection right there is where you want to focus all of your energy now here's the amazing thing this is as true for a multi-billion dollar fortune 500 company as it is for a six-figure entrepreneur or even for a starting entrepreneur it doesn't matter it stays the same the ideas do not change the principles the basics of business do not change and this is one of those fundamental basics of business you've got to focus your energy on the intersection of these three circles what are these three circles again passion what you can be great at and what drives the economic engine or where you make money so if you can find out in that intersection where exactly your sweet spot is you will be able to apply the hedgehog concept really well so if you can focus in on that intersection of these three circles you can actually build a great business rather than build a failing business or rather than build a business that ends up being mediocre all right so make sure to focus on those three intersecting circles the next big idea is the flywheel principle. Imagine you have a 5,000 pound giant flywheel and you need to get it to spin. You need to get it to rotate really fast. What do you do? You start pushing. You start pushing in one direction. You keep pushing, you keep pushing, you keep pushing, you keep pushing, you keep consistently pushing until it starts to get momentum. And then you keep pushing even more to get even more momentum and to get it to go even faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. That's what great businesses do. They get a giant flywheel to go really fast. That's how they operate their business. They keep consistently putting in effort on the one thing and keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. On the other hand, the mediocre businesses and the failing businesses, what do they do? They have a bunch of different flywheels that they're trying to rotate. Not only that, even the primary flywheel that they're trying to rotate, they'll go after a misguided acquisition or they're gonna suddenly start a new marketing campaign or a new marketing channel or a new marketing effort. Even though something was working, they're gonna start something else because the shiny object suddenly kicks in and they wanna try something new. So whatever momentum they had gained on one thing is suddenly lost. And then they go on to other thing and they try to rotate it again and it doesn't work. And then they try the third thing and then do the same thing again and again. They keep going from one to other to third one to fourth flywheel or keep rotating the flywheel in different directions hoping that somehow the flywheel would just magically start to rotate really fast but that's not happening there's no magic moment it is all about consistent hard work and it's the same in online world same in our business same in, in this online business space as it is for a fortune 500 company as it is for a hundred billion dollar company most of the companies today that are struggling are struggling because they are not focused they're trying to do a lot of different things while the ones who are focused who are trying to get a few things to work who are getting to get their flywheel to rotate really fast are the ones who are going on to becoming great while the ones who are struggling are the ones who are trying to rotate a bunch of different flywheels and trying to do a lot of different things so if you are in this online business space and maybe you're trying to start a podcast and a youtube channel and an instagram channel and a facebook live and all those things at the same time while you're trying to do email marketing and facebook advertising and youtube advertising and all those things you got to stop that madness. You've got to focus in on the one thing, on the one channel, on the one channel for acquisition, on the one channel for sales, all those things. You've got to narrow down and get your flywheel to rotate. It's really crucial for your business's long-term success. So all these ideas we've talked about so far from this book, Good to Great, don't just apply to a Fortune 500 company or to a $100 billion company. They apply to your startup. They apply to a business that's starting today, even if it has $0 revenue. They apply to your online business, no matter what. These principles do not change the principles stay the same that's really important to understand my friend you cannot change the principles and hope that you make a great business you will end up with a failing business or a mediocre business now if you need help if you need help growing your online business building your online business then apply to my coaching program I have a few spots open the coaching program closes the applications close down on August 31st so if you're serious about growing your business if you're serious about skyrocketing the success of your business apply to my coaching program 
program 2000books.com slash apply. I'm really selective about the people I take into this program and that's why I have this application process. Once you apply, then we will have a video interview and that's when we'll identify if you are a good fit for this program. All right guys, I really wish you the very best in your business venture and I hope you make your business a great one, not a failing one. All right guys, talk to you later, bye-bye.